Muslims and a community feeling the fear. Our Peggy Fox joins us now with a story you'll only see on Nine. The local Islamic community has outgrown this building and is proposing to build a mosque nearby on property they own. But at last night's presentation, things turned ugly fast. Now, right now, what we, what we look at this is this is evil. It was a level of hostility that Samer Shalobi did not expect at this community meeting. It, it, was, it was almost like a mob type thing. People pointing fingers, they were waving arms, they were you know, everything. Shalaby is a civil engineer and business owner. He was making the presentation about a new mosque on behalf of his religious organization when he was shouted down and called a terrorist. I will do everything in my power to make sure that that does, does not happen. We don't want it because so, you are terrorists. Every one of you are terrorists. I don't care what you say. We don't want it. You can smile at me. You can say whatever you want. But every Muslim is a terrorist. The woman taking this video, Munir Salim Abdallah, was on the front page of the Freelance Star. It was horrible. It was really horrible to be called a terrorist. It is so sad that people are so ignorant. And unfortunately, I understand the fear. Of course, it got to be fear. All of us have fear, including the Muslims, because the people who did what they did are not Muslims. Some of the people in the meeting were concerned the mosque would take in refugees from Syria. And why did you guys come there? Why did your great grandparents come here for religious persecution? And that's exactly what you're doing to us. The main instigator at the meeting continued to shout at Shalabi. Oh, shut your mouth. I don't want to hear your mouth. How does that feel now that you know some of your neighbors think you're a terrorist? It's very concerning. It's scary in a way. We try to do everything nice to please God to please humanity. When it was clear the insults were not going to stop, a sheriff's deputy broke up the meeting. In Spotsylvania County, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9.